And parts of Virginia hit hard by Helene are working to repair extensive damage. WXII 12's Kelly Kendall continues our coverage from a campground in Independence ravaged by flooding. Visitors come to New River Campground and Canoe to connect with Mother Nature, but Mother Nature hit this area hard, and now, instead of camping, folks are cleaning. Early October at New River Campground and Canoe is usually a peaceful time. We close October 1st, so then the campground's usually pretty silent, and the leaves start to fall, and it gets really pretty. But not this year. Owners Stephanie and Jesse Hetty say during Helene, the New River, normally their friend for tubing and kayaking, became a foe. The force of the flow of the river was so intense that, you know, you couldn't get out in it. You couldn't do anything. The Hetties walked me through the campground, which is on the Virginia-North Carolina border. The flooding was so strong, some of their property and others ended up crossing state lines. And this is one of our vans. Way it pulled it here. down and then to here. This here was our basketball court. So a lot of the stuff that ended up over here on this site are like platforms and porches and outbuildings from stuff that came down the river. Jesse estimates the campground sustained upwards of $1 million in damage. But right now, they are focused on cleanup. This Saturday, they've asked for volunteers to help pick up garbage, cut up fallen trees, or... Shovel mud. I mean, we're going to shovel mud for hours. I mean, that's just, that's where we're at. The Hetties lost their business and their home, but during my time there, it wasn't themselves they wanted to talk about. This has happened to us, but it happened all the way down the new. There's a lot of people down there that, you know, don't have a campground, and they're just personal people on the river, and they may need assistance. Despite the damage here now, the couple says their goal is to be ready for business as usual come April 1st. Reporting from Independence, I'm Kelly Kendall, WXII 12 News.